Hey, my name is Pat Jenkins. I'm from Northern Vermont. I'm 39 years old and I'm a real estate investor. I waited a long freaking time to say that. I'm just a regular guy. Uh, had a shitty credit score most of my adult life. I spent money as quick as I made it. Uh, ended up, you know, starting a family and we all know those are expensive too. And it's so easy to get sucked into this trap of, uh, you know, the, the hamster wheel W2 job where you're just running in place, running in place, running in place, running in place. And it's just this monotony of what we call life. And we blink and our kids are old and they don't want to hang out with us anymore. And I'm just here to say that the sooner you figure out that we got to figure out how to make your money work for you instead of you work for your money. Um, that the sooner you're going to find what life is really about. Now, am I an accomplished millionaire investor? Absolutely not. But am I comfortable? Have I figured it out? Am I confident? Do I know that I'm going to continue to thrive and continue to find deals and find ways and turn no's into yeses? Absolutely. And the whole reason why I'm putting myself out there right now is not for any kind of book deal or any kind of course I'm selling. I'm not trying to be your mentor. I'm trying to be your colleague. I'm trying to be your confidant. I'm trying to be someone who can say with confidence that as a guy who is living check to check at the time, I purchased a 3,300 square foot apartment building. It was three units. It was condemned by the town. There was literally pet rooms, damage. It was absolutely disgusting. And the reason why I'm saying that is, is we came at closing with little to no money down, little to no money invested in the construction phase. And not in a million years did we think it was possible until we asked the right questions. Because no one runs around and gives you the answers that you're looking for. And that's what my whole thing of this is. Whether it's financing, whether it's contractors, whether it's do-it-yourself projects, whether it's anything that has to do with real estate or something that you think isn't possible, I'm here to tell you, show you, and help you figure that out. And the first thing that you need to do is set a goal, which sounds so corny and so whatever, but it's so true. And then commit to it that's the first thing is committing to the goal okay yes i'm gonna get into real estate do did i have to put a bunch of money in no did i have to have some money set aside absolutely did i have to have my shit together absolutely and that's you know i had to get that credit score up i had to go without for a long time i had to pay some of the collections i had you know credit debt um uh you know Four years before I bought this property, maybe maybe more, I got denied for a checking account. A checking account. That's how shitty my credit was. So I and my girlfriend helped me out. We set budgets. We paid off debts. We went without, and we set it straight. And that was the first step. And then I got a small credit card, and I kept a 30% balance, and I got increases and increases and increases. And, you know, now, you know, I can get business credit cards and do all these things. But it didn't start that way. I had to start humble, and I had to want it more than anyone else. And that's what it's all about, is how bad do you effing want it? It's not easy, but there are ways. And there are many, many things that many people don't understand. Um, like rented, you know, everybody thinks that they can't use a VHFA loan on a multi-unit property, like a duplex, sometimes even triplexes. A lot of people don't realize that if it's already rented, they can come into that claiming 75% of the gross rents as their earned income and can use that towards buying power. What? I never knew that. 
no one ever told me that in school. Nobody ever told me that when I applied for a loan. I had to ask the right questions. And that's why I'm making these corny videos, these un unedited videos. Who the hell am I? I'm not a banker. I'm not a CPA. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a real estate agent. I'm a blue collar dude who's figuring it out. I'm a blue collar dude who thought that everybody would turn the eye, turn, you know, turn their back on me. And then first they did. I went to the bigger banks. They all said, oh, yeah, Mr. Jenkins, you can get this, you can get that. It was never what I needed. They always wanted more, all kinds of hoops to jump through. But I figured out ways around that, different programs, different grants, different things like that, where even if it was if the difference between a primary and investment property and the loan structure and the amortization of the of the interest makes a huge difference there's all these things that i learned from podcasts and all kinds of different avenues um and asking the right questions my wife at now my wife she wasn't at the time um had a commercial lending background i asked her all kinds of questions she helped me underwrite myself and understand deals and the financial end because I knew how to build stuff, but I didn't know all the financial end. So I asked all kinds of questions and listened to podcasts, any chance I got. And that's how I got where I got. So anyways, I'm making this channel so that us blue collar, hardworking, son of a guns can actually have an avenue where it's in layman terms. It's in, you know, <clears throat> a tangible, it's right there, guys. It's right there. You just got to take a look at where you are and then look at where you want to go and keep moving from A to B to B to C to C to D. And then before you know it, it starts moving for you. Before you know it, you're around the right people. You're making the right moves and everything gets easier. It's like a train moving. It's hard to get going, but when you hit a certain point, it's harder to stop than it is to keep going because of the momentum. So anyways, guys, I hope this helps. I hope you guys stick around. I got lots to share, lots to talk about, and uh, we'll see what happens, all right? Thanks a lot. Pat F. and Jenkins. Don't forget, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody will.